The COVID-19 pandemic had far-reaching effects on various sectors, including the automotive and housing markets. Both industries experienced significant disruptions in their supply chains and inventories, leading to unprecedented challenges and shifts in market dynamics. <laughs> In this video, we're going to examine the impact of pandemic on the new car and housing markets, tracing the progression from initial disruptions to emerging trends in 2024. By exploring the changes in inventory levels, interest rates, and consumer behavior, we can gain insights into how these markets are adapting and what the future may hold. The pandemic severely disrupted the new car supply chain, leading to unprecedented low inventories in 2021. New car dealerships appeared as empty parking lots and many potential buyers had to pre-order their vehicles, often paying a premium above rental prices. This situation began to change as inventory levels gradually increased alongside the rising interest rates, leading to more cars available on lots. Although inventories haven't returned to pre-pandemic levels, the increase is a healthy step forward. Similarly, housing inventories were heavily impacted during the pandemic. It wasn't until 2022 when mortgage rates climbed from 3.25% in January to 7.3% in October that Orange County's housing inventory finally rose. The supply increased from 1,100 homes in January, peaking at 4,069 in August, a 269% rise. However, in 2023, inventory fell from 2,536 in January to 2,053 in mid-April, a 90% drop before slowly increasing the 2,400 homes in November, a modest 22% rise. Mortgage rates started at 6% and surpassed 8% in October. Despite high rates, inventory remained relatively flat as many homeowners chose not to sell. This reluctance to sell stemmed from homeowners hunkering down due to their low fixed mortgage rates. According to the Federal Housing Finance Agency's National Mortgage Database, by the fourth quarter of 2023, 84% of Californian homeowners with mortgage had rates at or below 5%, with 67% at or below 4%, and 30% at or below 3%. In 2022, there were 22% fewer sellers compared to the pre-pandemic average from 2017 to 2019, equating at 8,450 missing for sale signs. The problem worsened in 2023 with 42% fewer sellers or 16,024 missing signs. In 2024, a new trend emerged as rates remained high for nearly two years. Many homeowners are tired of waiting for rates to drop, decided to sell. This year saw an 18% increase in new listings through April with 1,300 additional for sale signs. In April, there were 28% more sellers compared to April 2023 adding over 600 new listings. Despite many homeowners still holding off, the increase in listings is a positive development for the inventory-starved market. Compared to the pre-pandemic average, there are still 35% fewer new listings through April, a notable improvement from last year's 45% deficit. This trend of more homes coming on the market has persisted despite mortgage rates exceeding 7% for much of 2024. As rates forecasted to drop later this year, more homers are expected to list their homes, narrowing the gap between their low fixed rates and prevailing rates. And so far for the active listing inventory has grown from 17 85 at the start of the year to 2,470, a 38% increase and 15% more than last year. This rise in inventory is a significant positive trend, providing more choices for buyers. The inventory increased by 150 homes in the past two weeks, reaching its highest level since last November. If rates remain below 7%, the inventory is expected to continue climbing, likely peaking between July and August. Demand reflected by the number of new pending sales in the past months has also increased from 1,707 to 1,759, its highest level since September 2022. If mortgage rates drop later this year, demand is expected to improve further, potentially delaying the typical peak. The Federal Reserve's indication of possible rates cuts later this year, dependent on economic trends and inflation, will influence mortgage rates and market dynamics. Last year, demand was 6% lower with 1,600 
1,760 pending sales. The pre-pandemic average was around 2,765 pending sales, which is 57% higher than today. With supply rising faster than demand, the expected market time, which is the number of days to sell all listings at the current pace, increase slightly from 41 to 42 days similarly to last year's 39 days but faster than the pre-pandemic average of 68 days now taking a look in the luxury market in the luxury market homes that are priced above two million dollars inventory increase from a 851 to 935 homes, the highest level since October 2020. Luxury demand also rose by 25 pending sales, reaching the highest level since May 2021. With both supply and demand rising at similar rates, the expected market time for luxury homes slightly decreased from 103 to 102 days, indicating a robust market. Year over year, the active luxury inventory is up by 228 homes and the luxury demand is up by 82 pending sales. The expected market time for homes priced between $2 million and $4 million increased slightly while it decreased for homes priced between $4 million and $6 million and above $6 million. At 413 days, homes prices above $6 million are looking at a longer time to sell, extending into mid-2025. In the conclusion for this video, the pandemic's disruption of supply chains in the automotive and housing markets has led to significant shifts in inventory and consumer behavior. While both markets face unprecedented lows in inventory, recent trends indicate a gradual recovery, the rise in new car and home listings is a positive sign of market stabilization. The rise in new car and home listings, despite in high mortgage rates, is a positive sign of market stabilization. As mortgage rates are projected to drop later this year, we can expect further improvements in inventory levels and market activity. The resilience and adaptability of these markets highlight the ongoing adjustments to post-pandemic realities and set a hopeful trajectory for the future. And that's it I have for you guys today in this housing market video. I hope you guys do find this video super informative. And if you guys do like this video, smash that like button down below. It means so much to me. And if you guys have any questions regarding about the housing market here in Orange County, or just think about relocating, but you just don't know what's, what's the right neighborhood or like how the market's doing, please let me know. Drop your comments or you can even private message me. My contact information will be on the screen right here. And you could contact me via phone number email or any way how you want to contact contact me you know it's up to you um just want you to be comfortable and providing you with the information that you need to make the smoothest and safest decision and I, once again i'm your orange county real estate agent johnny kim and i'll see you guys in the next video